Welcome to Digital Toolbox. I'm Scott and today we're going to go over polysurface editing and surface editing. A polysurface, like in the other tutorials, is just uh, a bunch of surfaces together to create a solid object. So like this box is just six surfaces together to give uh, the impression of a box. So it's under the solid menu or just a um, box poly surface is multiple surfaces so we can use the explode command and it breaks apart these surfaces so I'll undo this and it'll go back to one surface so if we explode something and it goes back into one we can delete one face or put that face back select them all and click on join and it'll go back it'll now go into one uh, one object again uh, the next thing is that you can extrude curves into surfaces which we went over in the curve to tutorial uh, once you extrude a curve into a surface you have a surface based on that curve and then you can also extrude this surface extrude surface to create a uh, a 3D object here it's extruding it just perpendicular to the construction plane so we'll have to select a different uh, the this different direction to extrude it into an actual three-dimensional one so I'll go into a different viewport up in the command line it says direction and we can select base point for direction I'll go ahead and say from here to here so now you can see it's going in a uh, in this in this axis. so there you have extruding curves here's that original curve that we extruded the surface from we still have that we could delete it and extruding a surface into a solid object. The next things uh, that we can do are cap an extruded curve. So here's a, a curve that we have. We can extrude it and select cap. Cap didn't work because the this uh, surface or this curve wasn't a closed object so if we want our surface to look like this we'll have to press F10 to get points on and I'll just drag that point to the original starting point F11 turns that off extrude curve with the cap selection on and we have a capped object now lastly we'll talk about uh, fillet and chamfers for a uh, poly surface so here's a uh, box that we want to uh, fill it an edge fill it edge we'll do just one one edge so we'll select the edge that we want the radius is one it gives us kind of what that one unit is going to look, look like right click and say OK it shows us how much material is going to take away preview and there you have it that's a uh, fillet for a curved a curved uh, edge so this next edge say we want a chamfer for a concrete uh, concrete formwork is usually chamfered we'll chamfer this other one which is a uh, an angled uh, deletion. So we'll select this object and do chamfer. Chamfer edge does it for uh, a poly surface and not just a curve. And I'll select this edge. Again, it shows that uh, that one unit. Right click, and now it shows the, a triangle that it's going to delete. So there you have a chamfered edge along with a fillet edge. So there you go, those are some basic polysurface editing tools.